As tensions with North Korea rise, 10 News is getting an up-close look at a sophisticated military training exercise off our coast. It pairs U.S. and Japanese forces. 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena takes us inside the exercise known as Iron Fist. A short chopper ride away from Camp Pendleton is the island of San Clemente, one of several spots U.S. and Japanese military Target. used to train for exercise Iron Fist. Our 10 News cameras were allowed a closer look at the relatively remote location. It offers a unique opportunity for us because it is an island um, so that we can really put into practice um, what it means to do amphibious operations and truly come onto an island. Since it began in 2006, Iron Fist has presented both sides with an opportunity to learn how to better work together, especially when it involves any body of water. Amphibious operations is something that uh, the U.S. Marine Corps has. It's our strong suit, um, so it's training for them to work on us, but we also um, have been learning a lot from them as well. It um, goes both ways. It's an annual exercise, but it comes as tensions with North Korea are at an all-time high. This year, Japanese forces are just weeks away from establishing the country's first amphibious rapid deployment brigade, a go-to force capable of responding quickly, using what they've learned here wherever they're needed. So we'll put together all the training that we've been doing over these last three weeks and kind of put it into practice, if you will, um, with the air um, assets and, and the amphibious capabilities. Iron Fist will culminate in a final practice mission this coming Monday at Camp Pendleton. Money 